Hey, uh, this is a uh, review of an Amazon product I purchased from Highwild. This is a hostage target. I picked this up for about $250 recently, uh, before tax. And there's a link in the description if you want to check it out on the uh, Amazon site. Highwild makes a, a bunch of actually different AR-500 targets. A lot of a lot of cool stuff. Th this one, uh, this is my first High Wild purchase, so it's something I've been wanting to uh, buy for a while. And let's dig into it. Uh, so first of all, the uh, it came in two packages, and the Amazon listing actually does warn you it can ship in separate packages, and those packages can arrive on different days. Mine. Mine came on the same day, which is cool, so don't freak out if, if you get one package and you're missing one. They, it's disclosed on the, the product description, but most people don't read that, and they complain, I only got one package. Well, you should have read everything. This uh, package here was the two pieces for the stand, and I think that weighed in at about 12 pounds in the box. And then this one's going to be the plate and the mounting bracket and the uh, the base and I think this one weighed in at about 42 pounds in the box so without the packaging the whole thing may be around 50 pounds uh, or so let's kind of dig into this and see, let's see what we got this is the This is the base. And this is the actual hostage plate and then the mounting adapter and the instructions and all that good stuff. So uh, let me sort through this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this uh, put together. Went to went together very easily. The the base here, just a few bolts, very simple. The stand, two bolts, very simple. The stand is is adjustable in height. Um, I just put it at the highest for now, but I'll probably lower it because the highest is 63 inches, so that's pretty tall. The this this connector holding base or whatever they want to call it didn't come with instructions, so I kind of had just had to figure it out for myself. One bolt in the back will hold the hold this in. Um, it does. This company does offer several different products with different mounting options. And if you don't get this steel base or steel uh, stand with it, you can fit a regular two x four in here. And I think that's what these two holes are for. I didn't get bolts for these, but you can fit two x fours and maybe drill through them and supply your own your own uh, bolts to keep it in place. Also this top protrusion, the smaller slot is for T-stands. It did come with the two bolts to hold the t a T-stand in if you want to use that option. And then it also came with two of these things. So the diagram says one goes down here just like this inside here. The other one I don't know where it goes maybe like this in here or like this uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do like what it's going to attach to on the on this part but I don't need them so I'm not going to use them but it came with two of those so it looks nice went together very easy seems extremely sturdy and as you can see I won't be able to take it out today to the range to test it out, so that'll be coming soon.
So I made it out here to the range today. The rain let up that we had uh, the past few days uh, here in Arizona. So it's time to test out this Amazon hostage target from High Wild, three eighth inch AR 500 steel. I have it currently at about 10 yards, which is what they recommend for pistol caliber. Uh, um, at least 100 yards if you're using rifle, which apparently this thing will withstand rounds from up to 30-30 caliber. Um, but for today, I have a couple different 9 millimeters, and I have this uh, 22. We'll try it at the end to see if that has enough energy to uh, do anything with the paddles. All right, let's test it out. I should also note cigar of choice today is the Romacraft Cro-Magnon. 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 This is my go-to. It's always been my favorite. They're not a sponsor or anything. But I thought I'd throw that in there because you have to smoke a cigar when you're shooting. All right, first up is going to be the SP5K. Not bad. VP9 uh, suppressed. I'm using just regular ball ammo. So should have the same results, but why not? Nice. Next up is going to be my VP9 SK subcompact. This is my uh, everyday carry. So same, probably get, going to get the same results, but obviously always good to practice with your carry weapon when you can. Okay, so now we're gonna try out this uh, Mauser M20. This is a 22 caliber. We'll see if this has enough uh, energy behind it at uh, 10 yards. No. All right, so here's the, the target afterwards. Obviously, I took some headshots. You can see that. And easily painted over for reuse. Overall, I'd say this is a fantastic buy. I love it. I've had seal targets in the past, but not these hostage ones with the swing out paddles. So this is actually very cool. Uh, check out the link in the description if you want to purchase one on Amazon. Thanks for watching.